this gets a little bit scarier because now you're going to have, I'm going to give them like 20 seconds. And I'm going to say, like, like pick, a, pick a car here. What is the car? Oh, <laughs> bags. Bags, OK. So they, they're not like exciting topics, but like all you have to do is talk about bags. I like them to be topics that aren't really great because once you have some, like if it was, it was something controversial, uh, like the, the classic school uniform thing, now it's like, ugh, here we go. You know, but I have to talk about bags for 20 seconds. You know, you can say anything. You know, good morning, I'm here to talk about bags. Bags are brown. Sometimes they're white and blue if you buy them in the dollar store and you want to give them away as presents. Ding, thank you very much. You know, next person that goes up. All right, your word is um, types of food, okay. Food. I love food. I love pizza. They can just like talk about anything. They can just like list all the foods they like, you know. And then ding, thank you very much. So they always are going to get cut off. And it's great that they, like you don't want them to get to. If I see that they're starting to struggle, they're starting to look up. Like that's your cue. If they they start talking about types of food and they they go like that, I ding them even if it's not 20 seconds because at this point I still want them to be comfortable. Mm -hmm. All right. And then after that the discomfort is going to set in because now I'm going to be doing like expository pieces. Now we're going to do research projects and they're going to get up in front of the groups. And this is this is where I go and this is where I take it. Once they've done that several times, now they're going to actually do a project. And I call this the 50 states project. And like maybe like you would all be uh, Alaska, <clears throat> you would all you would both be California, the three of you would be New York and then you would have to come up with very simple things. This is a really great um, back to school activity. This is, oh, well, uh, I'm gonna show you mine because mine is not as good as, uh, like I, I, ha I did this, this was an alternate room project for teachers and this one is just amazing. So I don't want to hurt to show mine up. So here we go, like the front one, like <clears throat> I just have them put like here's Alaska or whatever state they picked um, and then an important fact and a fun fact. So that they're they're differentiating between you know what's interesting and what's important, and then inside here, inside the first page, this is actually going to be a speech just like that one, but now it's becoming more formal. Up here, I give them the first line. The first line is like if you ever have the chance to go to Alaska, there are a few things that you should do to make sure you get the most out of your trip. Now substitute every state for that, and this opening line is going to be the same. So you're getting them to write really strong, cohesive paragraphs in a really simple way. So you're all working on Alaska, and now you're gonna you're gonna all go to the library. I'm giving you 40 minutes in the library to come up with whatever you you come up with. The next day you're gonna get together and talk about what you found, and you're gonna pick out the stuff that you all agree is the most interesting. Now you're gonna say, you know, one thing you must do when you go to Alaska. It's almost like a little travel brochure, you know is this. Another thing, that's two, you're using transitions already built in, and then don't forget, that's your third one. And then over here, you know, if you don't do anything else, make sure that you do this. Now each person in the group is going to read one of those. Good morning. You're going to say the opening line. You're going to say the first point. You're going to say the second point. You're going to say the third point. If you don't do anything else, we're back to you. And the next place I want to visit is, give me a state that you would like to visit. Um, California. California. Next place I'd like to visit is? Florida. Florida. Um, South Dakota. South Dakota. South Dakota. And South Carolina. South Carolina. Thank you very much. You returned to your seat. So now it's becoming more formal. And once I take the formality away from that, and I give them little, little anchors here to hang on to, then finally all the anchors are away. And I say, now you make your own topic sentence, three points and then the final, all right? So then I have them like put a picture there of you know, what's, what's beautiful, and then just you know either a paragraph or, yes. So it's one like trifold per group? It's one trifold per group. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, you could do it the other way. That's how, I, I had every yeah, student yeah, in like, the class yeah. make their own, but I like them to do it yeah. collaboratively, and the speech is always collaborative yeah. no matter what you do. You know, because when you get up there for the first time you're doing a really formal one, now your safety guard is that I'm not the only one up here. You know? So all of them will be up there at the all same time? All of them line up okay. and then and they hear it, right. 
So <clears throat> I told the, the group they could do it any way they wanted. And what they had, to, oh, and on the back here, I told the kids just like to put the cool travel tips. So, you know, I thought I did a really nice job and I like put little <coughs> like, clip art here and, you know, like, like where, like, um, like the cost of living is affordable, so I put like money there. And then on the back of each one, I put a map and then I put on the back where they should go and things like that. And I thought that was really cute until I saw this one. Her name was Sinead, I don't remember her last name. But same thing, she got California, her group got California, and they all filled this one out together, that's the speech. And then here's the, each person like put their own little picture in there. And then back here, look at this cool little ditty. Aww. You know, travel tips. You know, she, tip number one, she put like a little, little paper clips underneath here so that when you take this little magnet that's attached to it, you, you go like this. Oh my God. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Yeah, like, the best time to travel is in autumn, you know. Isn't that an awe factor? Aww. You know, find a vacation rental home instead of a hotel. I think this is the one, there's one that says have fun. Yeah, that's have fun. You know, and when she presented it, she said, and most of all, you have to, bing, have fun. And she did it really dramatically. I did a very bad job on that. <laughs> anyway, so there are a whole bunch of them up here from, if you, if you like those, like, you, like those, these are just what happens after that. I'm, today I'm giving you the quick and easy things to do in class but they all have a purpose and they're always going to something bigger. It's almost 10 to 11. Okay. All right, so there's the extension. <coughs> this is what it looks like. Okay. All right, now I'd like you to flip to the next page and I'd like you to put an annoying personality trait here. So I hate whiners. So really big, and tell the kids you, you want them to hold the hold the book sideways, their notebook or whatever you're having them write on. If you have little whiteboards, that's cool for this activity too. But really big, put a personality trait that you can't stand. It could be something really big. It could be a real personality flaw, but it could be something small, like 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 if you're married and and your husband. Uh, uh, eats with his mouth full and that just drives you nuts. So that could be the one thing you love him to death, but boy, he just would close his mouth when he ate. Jesus, you know, that could be it. So it could be big and be small. Really big though. Because you're going to be holding this up for me. Like this. Like I'm going to have everybody hold it up like that. Um, this is, is this live show on the as well. No, because this is, I copyrighted this. This okay. is my presentation that I take yeah. around to schools and So we can like just that. take pictures though of them, of like your, of those things? Oh, sure. Oh right. yeah, you can open them, close, take all the close-ups, yeah. You, can, yeah, you can copy anything you want. Okay, so as soon as you have uh, your personality trait, hold it up really high. And I'm going to start calling them out. Oh, wow, you, you really put them big. A lot of times I say that and I say little tiny words. Complainers, noisy eaters and drinkers, so slurpy, like yucky, snappy sounds. People who drive with their blinker on. Okay, cool. You said complainers. Yours is show-offs, know-it-alls, braggarts, braggarts again. People who are confrontational. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> so, all right. So, you can't stand people who complain. Now, when you were thinking of that, were you thinking of um, people at school? You were. Okay. I don't know why that came into my mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there there are times when you're off with the people that you just don't like being around. So it's just like much more comfortable just to be in your own room. <laughs> Right. Okay, yes. All right. So, would you tell us, like, about somebody who's a, com or some complaint that, or, like, just give me an example of why you can't stand complainers. Um, I actually, I have a, 
with a couple of students who are very dramatic and any it doesn't matter what I do to try to make something fun, they're gonna find something that they don't like about it. Oh. And they're like, oh, seriously, uh -huh. Miss Foley? Oh. oh. And they like make that noise and they make that face. And I'm just like, I put so much work into this, come on. Do you whine and complain to them? You no, should. like I wish, I'm just like, oh, come oh, on. Yeah. That I take that so to heart. Especially. Yeah. Yeah, because you made all this wonder these wonderful yeah. things, and all they're trying to do is take power, and you know that. Right. But you're just afraid that it's going to, like, hurt, like, make somebody contagious. else think, oh, it's not that great. Yeah. Like, really? And they Are always you? find something oh to complain about, no matter what it is. I'm totally with you. I've been there. <laughs> I, I hate that, too. All right. Sorry to, like, jump in on no, that. But I really okay. hate that. Okay. Uh, oh, well, oh, well, I want to show you this, because... It's really hard. You know how when you get kids to pre-write and you say, okay, come up with like 10 things. That is super hard. That's real easy to say. Like come up with, like even if I say come up with 10 things about yourself, you're gonna get to number five and you're gonna start thinking, well, I don't know, I think I'm kind of done talking about myself, you know? So 10 is super hard. And, and like all the books, like any book that you pick up and say, oh, just have them come up with 10. Are you kidding me? This is a really good way of getting them to get 10 because probably if you put you put bragger, right? So like you probably have had an experience with a complainer. You say, oh yeah, yeah, I hate that. Like a bragger's my number one, but yeah, I, I don't like complainers either. So what I have them do as, as people are sharing, I have them write it in here. So I'd like you to do that now. So if complainers, if that's something that really does bother you, then write the word here. I'll show you. Here's mine. So I like, you know, sometimes like if kids have free time, I'll have them color it in too, because sometimes they're, they're, it makes their books look really nice. Um, so just write like words that really bother you along here. And sometimes I'll have them actually put the traits up here, because sometimes I'll say to kids, I mean, I'll, yeah, I'll say to kids, all right, as people are saying things that, that annoy you too, fill them in, but then they get so into the stories, like I'm listening to your story, and I'm like, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm